Almost there. But will your bank card get you across the finish line? Ever book that dream vacation, only to land and realize your bank card has mysteriously decided to take a permanent staycation? No fun. Traveling is stressful enough without worrying about surprise fees or limited acceptance. So, if you're considering Starling Bank for your next adventure, you might be wondering, is it accepted everywhere? Buckle up, Globetrotters, because we're about to dive into the world of Starling Bank and its international reach. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room. Starling Bank boasts a MasterCard debit card. Now, MasterCard has a pretty impressive global network, accepted in over 210 countries and territories. That's a massive chunk of the world, meaning Starling puts you in good stead for using your card abroad. But hold on a second, adventurers. While MasterCard acceptance is fantastic, it's not the whole story. Here's why. The local ATM trap. Imagine this, you're scaling the Great Wall of China, feeling like a champion. Later, you need some cash for souvenirs. You find an ATM, whip out your Starling card, and nothing. This isn't a scene from a bad travel movie. While MasterCard has a wide reach, individual ATMs might not be part of that network. The good news? Starling itself won't charge you for using an out-of-network ATM abroad. That's a big win compared to many traditional banks. However, the ATM provider itself might whack you with a hefty fee. So, be sure to check the ATM screen for any charges before you proceed. The all-powerful exchange rate. Foreign transactions can be a minefield for hidden costs. Many banks sneak in a sneaky little fee called a foreign transaction fee, often a percentage of your purchase. Starling, thankfully, doesn't play that game. They won't charge you anything for spending abroad. But the exchange rate itself can still be a foe. This is the rate at which your Starling account balance is converted into the local currency. Here's the catch. Some banks apply a markup on the exchange rate, meaning you get less foreign currency for your hard-earned pounds. Starling, however, says they use the MasterCard exchange rate, which is generally considered a fair benchmark. But remember, exchange rates can fluctuate, so it's always a good idea to do your research before you travel. The Restricted Zone Now, while Starling boasts impressive global reach, there are a few limitations. Due to international regulations and risk management, Starling restricts sending and receiving money to certain countries. These include places with a history of financial instability or sanctions. It's a small list, but if you have your site set on a specific destination, it's always best to check Starling's website for updates to make sure your financial plans aren't grounded. The verdict, Starling, a travel-friendly companion, with a few caveats. So, can you rely on Starling Bank as your travel companion? By and large, the answer is yes. MasterCard's vast network gives you peace of mind in most countries. Plus, Starling avoids the nasty surprises of foreign transaction fees and hidden exchange rate markups. However, don't forget the ATM operator fees and the restricted countries list. A little pre-travel research can help you navigate these minor hurdles. Overall, Starling Bank shapes up as a great option for the travel enthusiast. With their transparent fees and global reach, they can help ensure your financial journey runs as smoothly as your dream vacation. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.